Welcome back. This is an Alex homework video on understanding the effect of pH on the solubility of ionic compounds. So many salts uh, can dissolve in water and table salt, you put table salt in water it completely dissolves but there's lots and lots of salts that do not. If you were to take a big tablespoon and put it in in water it might float on the water, it might not dissolve at all. So, so solubility is how much it actually dissolves into its ions, right? So if you, if you were to look at this first example, I've got barium hydroxide. Uh, all of these salts that you're going to be given are just barely, barely soluble. The tiniest bit will dissolve. Most won't. So your, your uh, case of SP data that you can find on Alex will tell you to what degree it is when you have a uh, you know some 10 to the negative 13th or something where barely anything is actually turning into ions then it's barely soluble at all if if at any so one of the things you can do to make something more soluble often is to add acid to the water when you add acid to the water it'll dissolve more in the acid than it will in the water what's really happening is that when you break it down if you can make any base with that salt when the salt turns into ions any base that can be made is going to react with the with the uh, protons uh, and neutralize it and then you're going to drive the, the reaction to the right so look at this barium hydroxide if I make hydroxide ions by dissolving it in the water. Any hydroxides that do dissolve, they could react with any acid that's in there to, uh, to neutralize into water. Well, if you make that hydroxide disappear, really what you're doing is you're driving, anytime you have a hole on the right, then you're, you're uh, driving that reaction to the right to fill in that hole. So since, since hydroxide is a base, it's a bronsted lowry base, it reacts with, uh, with protons. If you can do that, you, if you can make a base, it will drive it to the right. If it drives to the right, then the more acid that's there, the more it'll drive to the right. That means the lower the pH that you can make that, the more uh, soluble that your, that your salt will be. Okay, so there's, there's our trick. We're looking to see if when you break it apart, is it going to make a base? All right. So the first one they give us is, is quite easy because hydroxide is obviously a base. All right. So, so since it can act as a base, then it's going to, it's going to pull those protons out and then it's going to drive the entire reaction to the right. So the more hydroxides that go away, the more salt dissolves. All right, so that means the lower the pH I can make it, then uh, the more soluble it becomes. Okay, so this is first question. Is hydroxide a base? Yes. And since it's yes, then it does sol change the solubility with pH. And the lower the pH, the more acid. The more acid, the more it reacts with the hydroxide. The more it reacts with the hydroxide, the more it goes away and it drives the reaction to the right. So let's look at the second one. Is the chloride ion a base? So I ask myself a question. If I have HCl, is that a strong acid? And HCl is one of the strong acids. That means that the chloride ion itself is not a base. So if the chloride ion were to be a base, then the higher the acidity, the more solubility. But since the, the chloride ion, if you were to add a, a hydro, uh, hydrogen to it, HCl, that's a strong acid. And the conjugate base of a strong acid is not a base. Okay, so um, I'm just going to say nothing. There's nothing that happens there. So there's no, it does not change with solubility. So now, is my sulf uh, sulfide ion a base? So I have to say, okay, what if I were to add a hydrogen to it? And I look, and yeah, that's a bisulfate ion. A bisulfate ion 
is itself a weak acid because it could give up that H. Well, if it's a weak acid, then the sulfide ion is a weak base. And so if it's a weak base, the stronger the acid, the more uh, it would react with the protons and the more it would drive the reaction to the right. Okay, so I hope that helps.